G'day everyone, here's my second last minute entry for the uh, 2017 Flashing Light Prize. It's a uh, sort of like a lightning detector, it's a 130 kilohertz long wave event detector which we'll talk about in a minute. And over here we have a Leyden jar charged up to a few kilovolts and a dripper system. So here you can see individual drops of water, each one carries a little bit of charge out of the Leyden jar and dumps it into the tank circuit in the front end of this event detector. And there's a monostable and it's driving the, uh, the bulb via a MOSFET. So basically each little bit of charge makes the, uh, the front end of this lightning detector ring and then that event gets amplified up and, uh, and triggers the monostable. So I built this out of bench sweepings that were just sitting on my desk and yes everything except the syringe was indeed sitting on my desk. Um, there's a Hoffman clamp there that lets me regulate the uh, the drip rate but otherwise pretty much all of this was just sitting here and it was just junk. So <laughs> there was a bunch of different um, kind of ideas that I had about a quick hack to you know generate a flash but all of them sort of were based on some kind of electromagnetic event so I built a general purpose electromagnetic front end and then from that this was one of the ways that I, I could stimulate it. So the electrostatic system is uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's, uh, it's charged up using one of these things. This is a, a zero stat gun, basically it's got a piezoelectric generator in there and a needle so it can spray charge off it and uh, when you squeeze it it polarizes it one way and when you release it it polarizes it the other so you can kind of spray charge alternatingly on each uh, half of the the Leyden jar and it will um, you know bias it up so one other way you can trigger it is with one of these this is an electrostatic discharge um, generator basically for, uh, for testing things for immunity so you can sort of just touch one end and then spray charge on the other end and this spark gap in the middle breaks down it generates uh, a fairly energetic little uh, electromagnetic pulse and uh, a couple of volts, you know, sometimes far more than that at close range. It's a useful little device and this will trigger the circuit, but anyway, more about the circuit. So this is the circuit here, my uh, little dripper diagram, but the really it's, you can consider this like an antenna, it can be triggered from, um, you know, free field electromagnetic radiation as well, so this is a perfectly valid lightning detector. We're just using it to, uh, you know, basically count individual drop events. So two amplifiers, uh, they don't pay too much attention to the values. They're, again, bench sweepings, whatever I had lying around, so they're not optimal. But uh, tank circuit, ampl RF amplifier, RF amplifier, and then we've got a monostable. Monostable's pretty straightforward. This capacitor, um, when this transistor, you know, pulls down on this cap, it sort of turns off this transistor, and then through this uh, feedback and timing capacitor, you get some regeneration going on. The, uh, the collector here goes high, which turns on your, uh, your FET and uh, flashes your bulb. whole thing runs off 9 volts. This is a 6 volt bulb, so I've got a, a little bit of resistance here to stop me blowing it up. But otherwise, that's it. Super straightforward. Uh, quick hack in the you know, last couple of minutes here before I go home. Alrighty. Bye.